for the beginning, I have given you some of the concepts that you need to know in this unit, astronomy and the solar system. Please, I want you to go through these words in English and in Arabic to understand each word in English. So that you find them in a text, you understand what they are speaking about. It means when you find them in a text, so when in a text is about satellites, or about the moon, or about uh, uh, the galaxy, or about the stars, or about the comets, or about the asteroids. You understand what is an asteroid, what is a comet, what is a, a planet, what is a moon, what is the sun, etc. So, remember that these words, you need to understand them right from the beginning of the unit. That they can help you understand the text. You have a problem in understanding a text. When you find the text in front of you, you have a problem. You do not want to understand the meaning. You want to understand every word in this text. Now, when you want to understand every word, it's difficult for you to understand the text. So, the text is understood through the meaning of the whole text. But, sometimes, there are words, if you do not understand them, you can't understand what is in the text. For example, uh, in the, 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 the theme of the, uh, ethics in business, suppose there is a text about nepotism. So nepotism is this and this and this and this. So nepotism is uh, an ethical practices, nepotism is this, we must find nepotism. But you do not understand what is the meaning of nepotism. So if you don't know what is nepotism right from the beginning, you can't understand the text. So for this reason, I'm giving you the context from now to understand them and to learn them by heart. Okay? Now, uh, most of what is in this unit is just a revision of what you have, we have seen during the past years. But today in this unit, let's see the comparative and superlative in English. Now, the comparative versus the superlative, you may find this in astronomy, you may find it in education, in the world. So it's the same rule. So, let's start. Now, first, let's take examples. So, Venus is smaller than Saturn. Earth is less distant from the Sun than Mars. Now remember Mars? Earth goes quicker around the Sun than, than Neptune. Than Neptune. Now we see that these sentences are expressing the comparative. And I am always telling you, I am not teaching you this for the rules, but to use them in your paradigm. For example, uh, for example, uh, avoiding corruption is safer than accepting it. This gives you an idea for a sentence. For example, understanding or uh, reading about astronomy is more useful for us to understand the universe. For example, keeping serious in our studies is or uh, revising every day is less tiring than revising once a month. So I want you to express these sentences, these meanings. I don't want you to understand the rule. Okay, understanding the rule is very good, but practicing the rule, making a sentence is the most, okay, remember, the most interesting thing to do in here. So most interesting, most interesting, look here, most interesting, most interesting, so it's called in English, the superlative. So, using these structures is very well. Knowing them is also good, but practicing them is better. Better is a comparative. Better is the comparative of good. We don't say good in English, we say better. But, so, now, Venus is smaller. Here, the adjective small, and we are ER. Then we are than. Now, small here, small, is it positive or negative? So, small. Small is something negative in the meaning. So, we call, you see the small here, for example, it's inferiority. Why? Because it's a negative meaning. For example, smaller than, cheaper than. Uh, for example, uh, lazy, lazier than. Tiring, okay? These are negative meanings. So, they are expressing inferiority. Now, expensive. Distant, uh, uh, big, huge, uh, for example, gigantic, intelligent, clever. These are positive meanings. So they express superiority. For example, I say 
this person is more intelligent than this person. Here, more intelligent is a superiority. No, less intelligent is inferiority. So, for the comparative, you have got superiority, you've got equality, and you've got inferiority. Here, what is the meaning? Now, for the superiority, in the English, the short adjective plus er plus the. But this short adjective must be positive. For example, uh, I am taller than my friend. I am more intelligent than my friend. I am, for example, more serious in my studies than my friend. So here, you are giving a positive meaning. So it's a positive meaning, it's superiority. Now, when it's a short adjective, you add er, but when it's a long adjective, you add more. More expensive, not more tall. Say more expensive. More, for example, uh, less tarry, less expensive, less, but you say cheaper. You say less cheap. Now, for the uh, inferiority, it's the same. It's the adjective, the short adjective, plus er, plus than. Now, when it is negative, it's less. Plus the long adjective, plus than. Now, for the equality now, for example, I am also as, or as expensive as. Here, there's no difference between long or short adjective. They are the same. You say, it. for example, as, as. As you say, not as, as. For example, equality is, for example, I am as tall as you. As tall as you. Here, tall is a short adjective. I am as intelligent as you. Intelligent is a long adjective. But it's the same. Now, I am not as tall as you. Here it's called E equality. So here, equality, you add E N. E I N. Inequality. I am not as tall as you. I am not as intelligent as you. For example, uh, most of the pupils in our classroom are not as serious as I am. For example, uh, you as a, as a serious pupil. Okay? Now, this is called the comparative. Now, the comparative is comparing two things. For example, Venus and Saturn, Earth and uh, Mars, uh, Earth and uh, Neptune. Now, the superlative is the same comparative, but it's one and more than two. So it's one with three, one with four, one with all. So you compare one thing with many other things. For example, you've got Earth, Saturn and Jupiter. So we, here we don't use comparative, we use superlative. Now, for the superlative examples, look. You've got the sun is the biggest. Now here look at the word, the, 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 actually the big. This is big. Now because we have EST, we have double G. Double G because here, look, there's a consonant, there's a vowel and a consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. So when you have a word like this, consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the consonant biggest. Like uh, for example, uh, so, scan, scan, scan. C A N consonant vowel consonant scan scanner scanner double N. For example, stop 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 t stop E D double P. So we double the consonant. So it's the biggest heavenly body in our system. It's the biggest one. Now we don't say the biggest done because we are not comparing with another one. It's we are comparing the sun with all the how many bodies we have in our system? So the sun is the biggest one. Now, Mercury is the least distant from planets. For example, Mercury is near the sun. So it's the least distant. If you compare it to Earth, Earth is more distant, more, and uh, Mercury is the least one. It means it's near the sun. Now, Neptune, Neptune is the most distant one. Why the most distant one? Because it's at the end of very millions of uh, kilometers far from the sun. For example, we got Neptune is the most distant planet. Still no. You don't know what is after Neptune. For example, we said Pluto. Pluto is not a planet, it's an asteroid. So the astronauts are looking what is beyond uh, Neptune. Now this is called in English the superlative. So what is the superlative? The superlative is comparing one with others. Two uh, three, four, one with four, where we four things, we don't use the comparative, we use the superlative. So, in the superlative, you've got either superiority or inferiority. There's no equality. You cannot be equal, you cannot make three or four things equal to one. No. You cannot say, uh, for example, uh, Earth is uh, as 
a ball of this and this and this and this. No, there's no equality here. You can't make one thing equal with many things. One with one object, but one with many things, no. So is there other superiority or inferiority? Now, the superiority is one. What is it? That's it. That's it. The, the adjective needs to be positive. So, quick. The adjective quick is a short adjective. So we say the quickest. The quickest for the superiority. Now, for the inferiority, the smallest. Now, small is a negative adjective. Now, it's a negative it means it has a, a negative of inferiority. When someone is tall and someone is small, small is inferior than tall. So we say the quickest and we say the smallest. Small and quick are short adjectives. Now, long adjective. Uh, the most, the, the most, now expensive. Expensive is a long adjective. So we say the most expensive. There's no value. Now, the uh, inferior, inferior, the least expensive. For example, if you compare uh, a bicycle with a car, with a plane, the bicycle is the least expensive. If you compare the bicycle, the car, and the plane, the plane is the most expensive. It does not be the meaning. So, the, remember, don't forget the and don't forget the ESC at the end, or the most or the least in the superlative. And I am remembering you. I'm not giving you this to learn them by heart, but to use them in sentences, to build meaning, to write a paragraph, to have an idea, to understand it in a paragraph. So we give you a text to understand, and they ask you a question about something. For example, uh, how far is the earth from the sun? Or among earth and Venus, which one is the is, is far from the sun? You need, you need to go to the text and find these in the text. So for example, you find the text, you find the comparative or the superlative. For example, say that is the sun like planet? And the text, they, they give you a comparative. The sun is not like a planet. The sun is a star. The planet is not a star. And the sun ref gives, uh, gives light, but the planet reflects the light. So now you need to understand this in text or in writing a paragraph. Now let's write. You write sentence B, so that means the same as A in both senses. Earth and Venus and both far from the sun. Now far. Far is a short adjective. But, in English, far is called an irregular adjective, like good. There's good, there's far, for example. Now, for an adjective, you say, I am good. For example, I am good, you are bad. You say, I am not gooder than you, I'm better than you. I am bad, you are good, you are better than me, you are better than me. Not you are gooder. For example, far now, perfect. You say, far is a short adjective. So, you say, Earth, Venus, far from the Sun. Which one is first, Earth or Venus? So it's Venus. And Earth is after Venus. So it's Mercury, Venus, and Earth. So, Venus, Earth is, look, e Earth, Earth is Far, look, far, there. Not far there. Far, far, there. Far, there. This is called the irregular adjective. Earth is farther than Venus from the sun. If you compare Venus and Earth, Earth is farther, it means more distant. And Venus is less distant, less. So we say farther is farther, hmm? not farther, farther. Mars and Neptune, and diff difficult to reach. For example, today, the astronomers, the, 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 those who go to the space, can they go to, can they reach Neptune today? No, they can't, because it's very, millions of years far from Earth, so it's very difficult to reach them. It means you can spend many years 100 years to reach that planet. So, here, difficult is a long adjective. And we've got Mars and Neptune, so it is a comparative. So we say, which one is, is difficult to reach, Mars or Neptune? So remember, Mars is next to Earth. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. So Mars is near Earth. So if you, we can go, we, we as astronomers, as uh, 
uh, astro uh, those people who go to the space, they can go to Mars in two, three, four years. But to Neptune, for example, in 100 or 200 years, they can reach it. So we say Neptune, for example, Neptune, Neptune is no, is difficult. The content difficult sir, is more difficult, more difficult to reach than Mars. The, the astronauts can go to Mars in, for example, one or two years. They can reach Mars. But in, if they go to Neptune, they may st spend 100 years to reach Neptune. So we say, Neptune is more diffi difficult to reach. And Mars is less difficult to reach. Now, let's see now Neptune and know to us. Neptune is one planet. Compared to the other planets, now we know a lot of things about Venus, we know the, the astronomers know many things about Venus, many things about uh, Earth, many things about Mars, but they don't know everything as they know because the more we have distant planets, the more it's difficult to understand, to know everything about them. So we say Neptune, for example, Neptune is not. Is it the most known or the least known to us? For example, you can have a lot of things about Venus, a lot of things about Mercury, but few things about Neptune. So we say, in the, when I express this, I say, for example, Neptune is the least, least known to us. The least known to us. Now, here the least known to us is called a superlative. Now, a superlative is when comparing one thing with many other things. For example, we compare Neptune with the, the seven other planets. So here you are expressing what you call the superlative. It means comparing one or more things. So I hope you have got an idea about the comparative superlative and how to use them into a good, correct English. Now, the next uh, lesson will be about using, comparing similarities and differences, how to express similarities and how to express differences. It's a way to understand how to compare and how to express the things that are uh, similar and the things that are different between things. Thank you very much.